Hi, and welcome to another episode of Learn It With Lion with PC Lion 324. On this episode, I'm going to complete the customization of my Ubuntu desktop by installing Avant Window Navigator or the OnDock. If you haven't seen the first two parts of this video series, click the link at the top to start from the beginning. Click the link at the bottom to learn how to install Compize. So to install on, the first thing I'm going to do is to launch Synaptic Package Manager. And then I'm going to do a search for Avant. That should pop it up. There you go. I'm going to select Avant Window Navigator. I'm going to select On Manager. I'm going to agree to any dependencies. Um, oh, this is not wasn't even the right one. I was supposed to select this one that says Avon Window Navigator. <laughs> Selected the wrong one there. That is the one I was supposed to select because it'll mark all that other stuff for you. Um, so that was a flub on my part. I'm also going to do on applets C extra because that'll give it a little bit more things on there and I believe that's it hit apply hit apply it's gonna download and install and then we'll be ready to run on okay so now we got on installed and to run it um, the easiest way is to go on a menu hit accessories and click on Avon window navigator if everything is working you'll see it pop up down there on the bottom um, we're going to go ahead and do some stuff so right click on it some stuff and by stuff I mean settings right click on on and right click on it and select dock preferences is what I did first thing I'm going to do is select this automatically start on on login then I'm going to do change the effects to squish I like squish it gives it little squishy effects it makes them it's like bouncing but they have a little squish to them you can see here it's got a little squish to it and it hits the bottom I like that um, one thing you can do is you can hit custom and you can do a different effect for each event here if you just want to, you know, test them out, just select the one you want and hover over it. That's 3D Spotlight turn. Also, let me see. I'm going to keep maximized. Let me see. Maximize windows cannot cover the bar. That's going to require an on restart, but I'm going to go ahead and select it. Now, I change the task appearance. Um, I don't like these little arrows. See, it has little arrows by the tasks. This is how I get rid of arrows click the color and move it all the way to transparent and it'll disappear then I change the bar appearance appendance I change the bar appendance appendance I said it again I change the bar appearance to 3d look and the height I do 24 and that's pretty much it for general preferences then I go to launcher no I go to applets and I like to have um, what do I like to have oh all the things that I took off the other one if you see if you've seen the beginning of this uh, series this customizing series I took off the show desktop took off the clock I took off trash applet um, I'm going to add weather. I like the weather too because that's in the clock. Where is it? Show desktop. Here, shiny switcher. Took that off. And I think that's all I took off. I'm going to add a separator there. Deactivate that. And rearrange these to trash at the end. Show desktop weather weather before the clock 
I'm just going to put show desktop on the side it would normally be on and that is it because it's trash that yeah now I'm going to add icons to it the easiest way to do it is to go to your menu and okay ignore that eclipse thing <laughs> go to the menu and grab and drag the launcher to the on menu and it should pop on there and I see that didn't do it that didn't work for instance let's try it again with Firefox like I said ignore that since that didn't work we're going to have one the hard way I know you can drag those things on there uh, go to launchers hit add give it a name um, I'm going to do Firefox first because that's going to be an easy one if you want to give it a description type in the command use this to select the icon click it and it should open up a slew of icons yeah there you go stock and I'm going to look for it there it is and I select the 3.5 icon for Firefox and I hit OK and lo and behold it is still not down there oh I know exactly why it's not down there it's not down there because I deactivated that thing there you go that's why it wasn't down there because I deactivated on manager what I meant to do is go to the launchers and remove that so make sure that in applets you leave the on manager there on manager allows you to drag and drop stuff on here so now go back to here and drag and drop your items on there and you will see them pop up one by one um, Google and what else do I need here I need evolution now I can go back and change it this is not embarrassing at all to me because hey learn it with lying buddy I'm learning and you learning I've done this before but once again I'm no pro at this thing so see what else I like to go here I want to do my rhythm box music player I stick that on there and yeah you just drag things on there and drop them on there um, and that's pretty much on in a nutshell sorry about the problem once again I removed an applet from on that I should not have removed under applets I removed this applet which is the launcher task manager applet leave that there do not remove that if you don't want that ugly on icon you go to launchers and remove the on manager launcher from the uh, list um, once you if you drag and dra did a drag and drop to add these you can come back to launchers and drag them around to rearrange them uh, for instance I like to put mine in alphabetical order as opposed to categorical order um, that's just what I like to do but yeah that's on in a nutshell thanks for watching that will conclude the customizing the Ubuntu desktop uh, well at least that's how I did it um, it's fully done now I can move on to doing some other videos um, come back in and see what else is new later on thanks for watching